The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Welcome to BoatTest.com. I'm Captain Rob Smith on board Sylvan's 206 Viper. This boat's been in the lineup for about three years and gaining popularity. People moving up from aluminum boats to a more traditional fiberglass boats are really liking it. We've got a lot of fishing features, yet you've got some family features that makes it fun too. So if you'll join me on board, we'll take a look at those key features. The 206 Viper sets itself apart partially in the fact that it runs so well with only 150 horsepower outboard on the stern. Most people don't believe they can get good performance and handling from a smaller outboard on a fiberglass boat, but Sylvan has found a design that takes advantage of smaller engines. Up front we've got five lockers. The two forward lockers we'll take another look at in just a moment. Behind them is going to be room for your batteries for your trolling motor and the center. This is a lockable box that puts your rods in and you've got some more room for bait and tackle. We've even got a step locker here that you can throw some drinks in. The bow lockers are rather cool. They have a lift out tray with a live well below which makes smart use of space. Up in the peak, the bow panel has a battery monitor, trim switch, live well switch, nav and courtesy light switch, as well as a trolling motor socket all grouped conveniently together within easy reach of the fishing chair. There's also room to mount another fish finder depth finder in the bow. I was very impressed with the Minn Kota connections. They're very well protected from water and have caps to protect them when not connected to the trolling motor. Taking out the tape measure, I found the bow area is over 42 square feet. The cockpit of the 206 Viper is very family friendly. It's got nice interior heights. We've got over 25 inches from floor to the top of the gunnel. That'll help keep the kids on board. Large open space, so you're not gonna be knocking knees with anybody. You can have up to four chairs in here on post. The helm seat's actually height adjustable. Looking at the windshield, I like this a lot. It's a very high windshield, so when the cold winds are blowing, it's gonna come up and over instead of straight across and hitting you in the face. Visibility and comfort at the helm was good. The driver controls the tunes and can plug in an MP3 player for their own mix. The C-Star hydraulic steering made it effortless to drive. The gauges are high above the wheel for good visibility. The footwell was a bit tight for me, so I just put my left foot up on the step locker and was comfortable. In the back we've got two personalities. Right now we're set up for ski mode. We've got two jump seats. In just a moment I'll take the jump seats out and we'll take a look at it in fish mode. Under the starboard jump seat you have access to the cranking battery. The center and port side is a fish locker and bait pail. With the jump seats off, you have a raised fishing platform across the stern. In the center of the cockpit is a very large sole locker to stow skis and other long items. Under the starboard gunnel is a locker for stowing three rods. The Viper 206 measures 20 feet 6 inches length overall with a beam of 8 feet. She weighs about 1,960 pounds dry and carries a fuel load of 50 gallons. She's rated for up to 225 horsepower and can carry up to six people or a maximum of 2,050 pounds of people in gear. Even if you drove this boat all day, it wouldn't wear you out. She rides better with a load than she did with only two on board. I did get some cavitation in turns, but otherwise she handled and performed well. I believe a change in prop geometry will easily correct this. The 206 Viper easily reached a maximum of 42.5 miles per hour and seemed to cruise comfortably at 3,500 RPM for a speed of 26.8 miles per hour and a range of 160 miles on a full tank. She's on plane in 5.2 seconds and up to 30 miles per hour in 12. The Viper 206 is a sporty rig. She has the features of a bass boat, the interior depth of a northern walleye boat, and the performance of a ski boat. She's designed with ease of use, ease of cleaning, and ease of maintenance in mind. I'd say she certainly tilted more toward fish than toward ski, but as I found out, she can do both. If you're in the market for a versatile fish and ski boat or a utility boat, check out the Sylvan 206 Viper. It may be the answer you need.